I was going to continue the firepower thing from last Tuesday because I have another idea on how we can make the sport a little more awesome. Basically, my idea is that we have like one gun so that there is the gun that everybody uses and it's standard to everybody else and then you get 100 rounds on a standard hopper, standard everything so that everybody's pretty much at the same tech level before they hit the field. But when I bring this up on the forums, people generally tend to, well... That would suck! I hate that! I hate limited paint! Limited paint would suck! But discussions like this kind of get me thinking, what would other sports be like if they didn't cap the limited technology that they could use in their sport? At the risk of losing my entire international audience, I think that baseball would be a lot more interesting. Yeah, you know, for about a week or so anyway. I mean, I can see it right now. The guy going up to the plate, and he's got his custom carbon fiber bat that's been specially designed aerodynamically to help it slice through the wind. The big sweet spot the size of New Jersey on there. And he levels back like this, and it's specifically made so that he can just swing and hit dingers all day. Well, that is until you get to the guy in the outfield who does not wear a mitt as much as he's wearing a big net. And all he has to do is put his hand up like this, and anything within 15, 20 feet is basically his. And speaking as an expert, catcher. I know every catcher would love to have a forearm guard that has, oh, I don't know, three-inch spikes all along it. That way, when they catch the ball and the guy from third is going to try to plow through them, make him drop the ball, uh-uh, I'm going to go like this, I'm going to rip and gouge you in the face. That would be so awesome. I didn't want to think about what other sports would do with unlimited technology. I mean, <laughs> American football. Bring back the stick on. I mean, can you imagine tennis stars using a racket this big? The point I'm getting at is that every sport has a limit to the technology, and it's a fairly reasonable limit at that. And I people saying, well, paintball has that limit too. I mean, we're at the tournament level. It's this, that, and the other. And, uh, here's the problem. I don't play tournaments. I am strictly looking at this from a walk-on perspective. And on the walk-on perspective, anybody who has a little bit of scratch can shoot just as fast as any one of the pros out there. Assuming they haven't read the manual and they don't know how to open the grip and change the settings. That, and there's a reason why somebody will leave a basketball game on or a football game or a rugby game that they don't understand the rules to. They'll leave it on because they're watching the athletes going, wow. That's really cool. Because we have an inherent understanding that that athlete is working within the limitations of the game and their skill level is way surpassing the limitations. They are showing us something that we cannot do. And they are impressing us, therefore we will continue to watch the game. So some years ago, I was uh, showing a friend of mine some paintball games, and he leaned in and said, do these guys just suck or something? I mean, that guy's like on his third or fourth pot of paint, and he hasn't hit a damn thing, and they're playing five on five. How many times is he missing the dude? And before you start yelling and screaming at me about whatever skill set you think it is, I'm talking about what it looks like to somebody on the outside looking in. Yeah, they're, they're looking inside the game and they're saying, you know, these guys don't have any limits. It's just basically an unlimited kind of thing. You know, it's whoever's got the most money wins. and. They just dismiss it because they don't look at it as a real sport at that point. So that's why I even bring up stuff like this in the first place, is because without that limitation, without those standards, essentially we're just wasting our time out here. And to be quite honest with you guys, it would suck for me too if we went to a system where everybody had to use the same gun because then I would have to scrap everything that I own, but you know what? I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Paintball has been fighting for legitimacy for the last 20 years. Maybe it's about time that we started acting like we deserve it.